Yo, what's going on guys? It is Uncle Kobe back with another Black Ops 2 tips and tricks video and in this one I'm gonna try to keep it short and to the point and what we're gonna be talking about is how to sound horn now I know a few commentators have made videos about sound horning in Black Ops 2 where they recommend using the Super Crunch audio setting and that's definitely helpful and I suggest using it as well. However, that doesn't really tell you how to sound horn or what to listen for in different situations so it's a good tip however without anything else to go with it it's kind of useless so today I'm going to be showing you what to listen for as well as a few tips for sound horning in Demolition and Search and Destroy. But before I start, sound horning in general is easier with a headset, everyone pretty much knows this, it's common knowledge now but if you really try you can still sound horn just with your TV speakers. I did it back in like COD 4 but again I recommend using a headset but anyways since COD 4 whenever an enemy started defusing a bomb you would hear them opening up the bomb briefcase now I always refer to this as the jingle so now this jingle was very helpful it allowed you to kind of post up or hide near the bomb after you plant it and just wait till you hear the jingle and then go take them out now once people started catching on to this fake diffuses became popular people would jingle the bomb drop it and wait for the enemy to reveal himself so he can then take them out and then defuse the bomb and if you were the one listening for the jingle you had no way of telling if it was a real or fake diffuse unless you actually go check it for yourself However, with Black Ops 2, they did something totally different, and it's actually very subtle, but so helpful when you're trying to clutch around and get that important kill. If you listen closely, you can hear the player not only open the briefcase, but push the buttons on it as well. You can hear a bunch of little beeps as he defuses the bomb. Hopefully you guys heard that, but as you can see, listening for this can help you a lot after planting the bomb because you no longer have to guess if the enemy is really defusing the bomb or if he's faking it. Once you hear those jingles, you can come out and get the kill. Now that alone is awesome to know, but Black Ops 2 changes things up again by allowing you to hear the enemy plant the bomb as well. That was never possible in any other Call of Duties. You are now able to set up near a bomb on defense and simply listen for the enemy to attempt to plant the bomb. Now this is huge, especially if you're the last one alive in the search and destroy. However, it is equally as useful in demolition. Utilizing C4s can also be very effective when sound whoring a bomb site. Just listen for the jingle and detonate your C4. So hopefully you guys will be able to use this and clutch some search and destroy rounds or demolition games. Now I'm sure a couple of you may not be happy that I'm broadcasting this to the world. You may think that if everyone knows this people will just camp and everyone will be scared to plant the bomb because they think someone is just listening for it behind a wall. But there's actually a way to counter people sound whoring as well and it will help you ninja plant and ninja defuse the bomb. But that's for my next video. If you guys want to see it make sure to give this video a like. I'll probably just upload the video once this hits 100 likes whether it's today or tomorrow. So. Thank you guys for watching. Again, use these little tips to your advantage. They aren't total game changers, but it can definitely help you at some point while you're playing. But check out my last two videos if you missed them, and I'll catch you later. Peace.